It's the mid-1980s and Bernard Lamar is feeling more ambitious than ever. Lavalin's growth is fueled by its diversification into rail and petrochemical manufacturing. Meanwhile, SNC is pursuing its own expansion outside the engineering sector. The company boldly goes public to finance the acquisition of Canadian arsenals, but the firm suffers an incredible setback in 1988 when Defence Department orders are chopped by 50%. That year, SNC posts a loss of 32 million. In 1989, a new CEO, Guy St. Pierre, takes the helm and gets back to basics, refocusing the company on its core, engineering and construction. The result is a dramatic turnaround, a record profit of 28 million by year end, the best result in its history. Lavalin suffers some setbacks when a military coup upsets contract talks for a mass transit system in Bangkok, Thailand. The Gulf War further deepens the company's financial woes by monopolizing the raw materials for its Chemtech refinery in Montreal East. The firm then loses $52 million when the Russian airline Aeroflot reneges on a Lavalin brokered Airbus deal. Lavalin is on the verge of bankruptcy. In early June 1991, Saint-Pierre cuts short his vacation for an emergency meeting with Lavalin's Allemand Couture. It's an invitation to lay down arms and discuss a future together as a unified and globally competitive company. In order for the negotiations to succeed, SNC and Lavalin must set aside their differences and find common ground to build a solid foundation for the future. I try to convince everyone that uh... Uh, from now on, we were not uh, SNC, we were not Lavalin, we were SNC Lavalin, a new company with all of the employees working hard to make a success out of this uh, association. The creation of SNC Lavalin is celebrated in August of 1991 at Montreal's Hilton Bonaventure by 1,500 of the new company's employees. Est-ce que je peux vous inviter tous à lever votre verre pour au succès de SNC Lavalin, la meilleure entreprise de génie conseil au monde. Plaisir. It's a remarkable moment, but a new and even greater challenge awaits, integrating two old rivals during a severe recession.